Oh, so I'm on the corner here in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Two big politicians, November 6th, the big election. Actually, in New York, there's a uh, primary that happens September. September sounds like a pre, pre, a pre-election, right? So it's a primary. So Justin Brannon and we've got uh, Andrew Kinardes running for the state senate. Bring them into the frame. They said they're coming. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Andrew running for state senate. Have a great morning. Hi, I'm Andrew. Good morning. That's a hack. Hacking. They're working it. Good morning, brother. Say hi to Andrew Kinardes. Good morning. I'm Andrew. Have a great day. Cool. See if they're coming. How are you? So Andrew, can I ask you a question? Sure. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm bring Andrew into the uh, there you go. Andrew into the frame. You know, we'll, we're going to get to Justin Brandon. We know he's there. So hi, how you doing, Andrew? Great, so great. Um, my name is Mark Scotti. I do a uh, YouTube blog, and uh, I interviewed you a while ago. I caught yeah. you down in the subway. Right. I, don't, I don't know what happened to that clip, uh, but uh, but anyway, so so you're running against uh, Ross Barkin, who's out hey, pounding. Good morning. I'm Andrew, running for state senate. Pounding the pavement right now. What's the uh, what, so what's going on? What's going uh, How do you feel? I mean, about we're out here uh, pounding the pavement just as hard. So, we're out here every single day at subway stations, uh, greeting commuters. I've been to almost every single station in this district from here out to uh, Marine Park. Uh, we're knocking on doors every single night. We're meeting voters on their doorsteps, at their supermarkets, at their train stations, at their bus stops, talking about my ideas and my vision for Southern Brooklyn. When, when's the election? When Our the first primary election is September 13th. September 13th, okay. Yeah. So, so I guess the I guess the uh, you're running as a Democrat. Uh, you know some of the platforms that most of the Democrats, whatever that means, in the, the state of New York, want is single payer universal health care. No yeah. nonsense. You're for it. Yeah, I support it. As a state, as yeah. state senator. Yeah, absolutely. Free college tuition at City and State University. Absolutely. You support support that. You support it. What about what about uh, raising the corporate tax rate so that these corporations stop raping the country? Uh, I think that makes total sense. Total I think we sense. Have to, we need to have tax fairness in our system. Wow. And right now, we have a lot of people who feel that the tax system is really unjust and unfair. Right. What about military spending? The the, the uh, current House and Senate just raised. They just gave the uh, military a raise, seven hundred billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Seven hundred billion dollars in, yeah, in no, military I, against uh, an enemy we don't have. What do you say about that? That's really, really high. I mean, obviously, we want to make sure that we have enough funding for our military, make sure we're able to keep our country safe. But seven hundred billion dollars does seem really high. Don't have much influence on that as a state senator, but I think it's definitely an issue of concern that we should look into and talk about more. Okay, so here's the big question, right? You're running as a Democrat. Hillary Clinton, when the Clintons came through New York. They basically stuck a knife in Bernie Sanders' back. They purged 200,000 voters off hey, the rolls. Good morning. How are you? I'm interested to see you. Have a great day. Here in Brooklyn alone, how do you how do you run in the Democratic Party and look into this camera and say the Democrats are not going to they're not they're not going to cheat in this election? They're going to throw you under the bus. Maybe they picked Ross Barkin already. How do you how do you how do you vote with how do you tell the Democrats in the state in the in Brooklyn? To vote with confidence that Democrats are not going to steal the election from you. Look, all I can say is I'm running as myself. You know, I'm running to put the best vision forward for this community and for this district. So I'm going out there every single day to communicate that message. And I hope that people believe uh, in the earnestness and the truth that I'm bringing to the issues that we're talking about day after day after day. Um, we haven't seen no indication that elections are going to be stolen or things are going to happen, so I really can't speak much to that. Um, but I think at the end of the day that my message and my vision for this neighborhood will, be, will prevail. Uh, and my and my roots in this community uh, and doing things in this community for a very, very long time will uh, will prevail. So vision aside, you don't think the Democrats stole the uh, 2016 primary from Bernie Sanders? I, I, when I say Hillary Clinton, what do you say? Uh, that's not for me to say. I, I say first woman president. Uh, wow. Thank you very much, yeah, Andrew. I appreciate it. Good day. Good, day. Good luck on the in the election. Brandon, can I bring you into the frame? Sure. So this is uh, this is a, a, an honor, a well unexpected honor. This is <laughs> this is wow, right in the sun. Oh my God. So this is uh, Justin Brandon. He is the uh, city councilman for this district of Brooklyn. He just beat uh, what's his name? I forgot his name already. John Quaglione. John Quaglione. John Quaglione, the Republican. So. Justin um, is uh, now the uh, new the new uh, councilman here in uh, in Brooklyn, and uh, Justin's also a fucking amazing guitar player. <laughs> Justin is amazing. I got something to fall back on. Uh, 
It was amazing guitar players in uh, metal bands throughout the uh, 90s and, yeah, yeah. and such. I, I, I actually have a musical background. I know you. Oh, right on. I, I know those bands. So, so Justin, what um, you, you just heard me. I was talking to uh, Justin. I have a fundamental disbelief in your in your party, not you as an individual. Okay. I believe in everything you believe in. I believe in you know social issues, ra you know raise the minimum wage, you know. Right. All, all this stuff, all the all the things that Bernie Sanders ran on. But sure. my fundamental problem is that. 90% of the politicians in 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 the in the uh, DC run against the people. 90% of what they vote for is against the people because they they, they lean on the donor class. Mm -hmm. what, how do we combat that? That's what I want to know from you. Well, I think that's why I got so interested in local politics because I mean, what goes on? Yeah, you know, real change comes from the ground up. It doesn't come from DC down. Thank God. Um, and you know the Democratic Party. Look, I have I uh, have issues with the party as well. I mean, I think the party needs to be talking more directly to working people and talking to people that are struggling to get by. I mean, that's what the Democratic Party was built upon. It was built upon fighting for the little guy, and I think we need to get back to that. I think on the local level, um, that's where you have more control over that. You know, when you get into higher office, it's a little bit harder, but local level, grassroots politics, um, you have more control over that messaging and, and, you know, like we're doing here, like we're just hand-to-hand -hand combat, talking to voters, you know, hearing what people, what's on their mind and hearing what, um, you know, uh, you know, hearing day to day what, what we can do better as, uh, as leaders. Um, so I hear you. I mean, yeah. I have some of that same frustration with the party. Right. Um, so, but here's, I mean, that's, that's, that's wonderful, right? right? And. I think what the problem is, we've heard so much from politicians. We all know the problem. Oh, we, the, that the Democrats, they don't listen to the vote. Right. They don't listen to the vote. Why? Because they're listening to the, to the guy who just handed them a million dollars under the table to better make I, so I think both, I think donor that, class. I think you have that problem in both parties. I think you have. Yeah. No, I'm not. It's, yeah. And absolutely. I think, I think the problem, too, is that you have a look. I mean, when I ran for office not because. Um, as a, as a career that I needed a job I ran for office because I had a desire to lead and you know to represent the neighborhood where I grew up but you also have um, elected officials who their number one prime directive or whatever is to get reelected and that's right. it so when you get to that level where that's all you care about then you're gonna run into that kind of stuff where um, instead of you know planting trees who, who's uh, whose shade you may never enjoy you're worrying about how am I two years from now whatever right, it is right, right. how am I gonna get reelected and that's when you get into that you know sort of uh, your donors are the constituency and not the people and that's that's what we need to get back to right, right. listening to the people those right. people are the ones that put you there the people are the ones that pay your salary those are the people you need to listen to the people not the donors not the special interests um, and we need to get back to that on both sides of the aisle and I think local politics is, is where you can get to that more directly Right, right. So on local politics, I, I I don't want to put you on the spot, but I heard that uh, <laughs> this this I heard that you wanted to take down the Christopher Columbus sign. And, and Columbus no, and, me? No, no, I don't know. No. That was, did I no, read it I wrong? Support, no, I support the statue. The statue. Yeah, I support. I, I, I found it a little offensive that they're running around. You know, look, history is history, right? The future is the future. If you want to, I mean, they, look, the the United States has done great things and bad things. And I think we agree. And some of the symbolism may represent some bad stuff. But it's symbolism, and uh, you know, like in, in Bay Ridge, they knocked down the uh, the two Confederate generals. They yeah, yeah. sawed down the literally. I'm standing there when they did it. They sawed the the relics of these two great uh, generals. From the it's, it's a very it's a very tough issue. I was in favor of the of removing the, the uh, Confederate um, mon the plates, whatever they were, the monuments. Yeah, yeah. Um, Columbus statue, I, I'm not in favor of taking down. If anything, I I, I want to educate people on. Um, the good and the bad of some of these figures. I think that's what we should be doing too. Um, but the Columbus statue, I, I was not one of the people saying tear it down. Right, right. Very good. All right, Jeff. Anything else, man? You're gonna so you're yeah, gonna get back to work. Come, why why uh, why uh, Andrew Canardis and not Ross Barker? Too? I, mean, I know, look, I, not only is Andrew a personal friend, but but okay. Andrew's been in the trenches with me. You know, I mean, he's been doing the work for the past. 10 years like if I was organizing a rally or I uh, was doing any kind of activism Andrew was right there right beside me so for me I think it's important that you have someone who has a track record as a civilian 
um, before they, they um, you know, they, they get into the political arena. Mm. I think it's important, I mean, I think it's important for, for anybody to step up and run for office, um, but I think it's also equally important that the person has a track record as being someone who's been involved, um, you know, uh, on the local level. Right, right. Very good. Thank you so much right for your on, time, Justin. Yeah, I appreciate no it, man. Right wow, awesome. Give me a handshake. I want to. I want to <laughs> shake the hand of this, this guitar player here. Guitar player. Yeah, Thanks, man. Right appreciate on, it. Be good. Excellent, going. excellent, guys. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Yeah. So uh, that was pretty cool, right, Justin? Justin Brandon, the new councilman for uh, Brooklyn, and uh, Andrew Canardes. He's running against the the good uh, Ross Barkin, the guy that that uh, we did the interview with. So. Wow. Peace out.